and looked at every place. We looked at Lower Greenville. We looked at Knox Henderson. We looked in Uptown, and we looked we looked every place. And we were about ready to just move outside Dallas, saying there wasn't any place we could go. And all of a sudden he goes, dude, he goes, I've got a place for you. It's downtown. I said, I thought you said there was only one place in downtown that was worth even being at. He goes, yes, and this is it. <laughs> and so that was really cool. And we ended up, we came down and we saw the space and there was nothing in here. If you look at these columns, how they're all, you know, weathered and, and old and decrepit and everything. That's all it was. And all the walls were just like that. All the brick that you see, we put in. But everything else was just this blank hip and it was dark and dank. The thing that's really nice is having the locals here and having the people were on the first floor of a 20-story apartment building. So we, we like to call ourselves downtown's living room, and we really feel like we are that. Uh, not everybody wants to go out and pay for all the, the NFL, NBA, NHL packages, and, and Dallas is a very cosmopolitan city, so you have people from all over the country. So if you're not going to pay to get the out-of-market games, things like that, you can always come down here. The other part of that is... We have a lot of, we have the ability to serve the corporate needs down here. We're very, very competitive for that. And we can do parties in excess of 100 people in the underground um, while still maintaining, um, just maintaining the upper, the upper floor open to regular business. And we've tried to do it very, very speakeasy-ish, very prohibition era uh, as far as the decor and everything goes. Uh, we've got a lot of great cocktails. Um, you know, even during our happy hours, we do a great old-fashioned on tap for $4, and I'll, I'll put that up against almost anybody's. Having the stage area and everything else gives us an opportunity. People can do bands, they can do karaoke, they can do DJs, they can pretty much anything they want to do down here. Um, we have the ability to plug into our, our video system, so if they want certain videos playing or something like that, we can customize everything for them. Uh, Tuesday and Saturday nights, we have DJs. On Wednesday, we're having a very successful open mic night. Friday nights we've been doing live music. Um, we've been keeping it more towards the acoustical settings just because it fits the space a little better.